Right, so my name's Alfie Bradley. I am the sculptor of the Knife Angel. Um, today we had BBC Breakfast um, come in to film today. So we could explain to them exactly what we're doing, the whole concept of the idea. Right, it's incredibly important. You can see the amount of knives we've got here. And it just shows how many's out there and how many more we need to take off the streets. And the best way to give a message out there is by creating something big. So people realise how many how many really are out there and the damages that it can cause. But I know for a fact it's gonna shock a few people, which is the whole aim of this project. And make people realise and aware of what's out there. And none of us had a clue how many was out there until we started this campaign. Yeah, the uh, BBC, uh, the morning breakfast show, has uh, been filming here today. It's uh, all in connection with, uh, I think it's two things. One is that it's uh, the rise in statistics or the release of new statistics over knife crime rising. And the, uh, the fact that we're trying to create this national monument uh, for anti-aggression and anti-violence. Uh, and to obviously see all the knife banks that are being built here for, the, for the, all the 43 police forces across the country. Well, first of all, I feel really privileged to be here, privileged to be supporting this campaign. Um, I was at the very first knife bin opening in Perry Bar um, when Clive Knowles kindly provided the bin for us. And I've been at the opening of four of the knife bins. And every time his name's been mentioned, the, organizer, the company's name's been mentioned. And I feel really privileged that I've met him today. And, just, and I was really pleased that he's been doing this and Please, the support is giving in because what he's actually doing is, is saving lives. He has supported the community in the West Midlands to save lives. And I understand there's going to be about 300 knife bins up and down the country. So, this again is contributing to the social fabric of our communities but also improving our working existences and also supporting people to feel more secure but it's a place where young people can freely and safely drop these knives it's a knife place of surrender rather than anything else we are one of the only force areas in the country that have currently um, seen a reduction in knife crime over the past year i think uh, across the country in general the knife crime has risen um, whether the uh, surrender your knife campaign has contributed to that and it certainly has um, raising awareness in general, I think that's been uh, very positive in the West Midlands. Yeah, my brother got murdered um, in our town, local town in Wrexham, two years ago. Um, he got stabbed 52 times. It's just... It was horrendous. Yeah, it was, it's, it's horrible. It's so very hard and raw, isn't it? Yeah. But to do something like this angel is... Just give us a bit of focus to try and yeah. get as many knives off the streets as possible. I'd seen it on Facebook mm. about the Iron Works and what they were doing with the Knife Angel. So I got in contact with them, Clive. Clive down here, and he asked us to come down. And um, yeah, we just took off from there. Really, just took off it? from there. Yeah, we to give us a, a focus, so much a focus on, isn't it? Yeah, we went down to Birmingham and put some the knife banks and stuff on and open knife banks and stuff for knives to be collected in just helping out as much as we can isn't it yeah it is a very powerful symbol of of knives and the damage that they can do but you've got an angel now being created out of these knives I think it will send home a powerful message to the young people that will see it and to anyone that sees it it's powerful poignant um, in terms of the imagery and all that it signifies. You can imagine that possibly some lives will have been saved as a result of this, the creation of this piece of artistry, um, but also it may contain knives where individuals have lost their lives. So, you know, it's, it's powerful. How many knives that were out there, by like seeing how many that are on that angel, yeah. I think people are be quite shocked to, yeah, thank you. to know how many dangerous knives are around the amount that they collected in and obviously they're still floating around the streets so yeah hopefully by looking at that people may think about not carrying a knife around with them or a dangerous weapon.
The whole, the whole reason we're doing this is to ensure that uh, knife awareness, uh, the, the difficulties with youth crime and gang violence and, and people carrying weapons is discussed to a higher level and there's more uh, and we've become more proactive over dealing with it. It is a scourge, it is a problem. We need to be doing more about it and the, and the, the absolute hope is that the angel, the statue made of knives will provoke more initiatives, more action over reducing knife crime and people carrying knives on the streets of the UK.